I want to give you the simplest way to manage across all of your functions in a business to get an understanding of what's happening, what's going well and where can improvement be sought at any one point in your business in its most simplest format. So this is a business intelligence dashboard that we use ourselves in our own business and that we recommend with clients if they don't have something already set up already. In its simplest form, it gives both the CEO and the MD or the people who are at the top of the business a really good sense check of the different functions reporting up to them and the numbers and metrics that matter. It allows them to come in and make a determination based on the actual number received or, or attained versus what the target was in the first place. So what we have here is basically, as we refer to it, as a business intelligence dashboard. This may exist in some companies in a different format. Um, it may be something that people are completely on the ball with, if so, amazing. But this is a really, really simple tool and sheet that you can set up for your own business that gives you that sense check of what's actually going on. And ultimately, as an owner, an operator, CEO, where should you direct your energy? There feels like multiple fires going on all the time. But this gives you this sense of based off the targeted goal within any metric, within any number, at a volume level, at an average level, what was the target across that given period? Define what good looks like actually then report or get people to report in on that and for you to make that quick sense check. So again, it's a really, really simple um, version of how you can do that within your own business. So just to talk through it, okay? So at the moment, we have it across finance, revenue, brand, clients, paid marketing, BD sales, ops, and partnerships. Ultimately, it's here to serve yourself, okay? So this is an example of one that we put together, but for you, it's ultimately, you know, really, really easy to customize this to what's important to yourself. When you're trying to pick the numbers here, so when you're sitting down with your leadership team, when you're sitting down with heads of departments, you want to try to get an idea of some of the metrics that ultimately paint the picture of, you know, your finance and, and your revenue numbers. I always say to at least our team and to our clients, there'll be numbers within here or metrics within here that are important to them as a department leader but they're a contributing metric to something else. So ultimately something like, you know, new deals closed or SQLs, uh, sales qualified leads. There's lots of things that need to happen for that person or department or team to get that number. But ultimately in terms of as you deal with the, you know, in this case, the sales director, you only need to know that number. If that number is bad and, you know, it needs your time and energy, that's where you work with someone. You go into the contributing metrics that affect this and you go a little bit deeper. So here's some of the functions and then to just speak through it in, in simple terms, okay? So first is just the actual uh, function. Some of the key metrics uh, within here. So for ourselves and with clients, we have something like accruals versus cash collected, your gross margin, net margin and debtors as an example. We just have here, is it an average or is it a total? Again, you might be missing some here. So if you want to put in more work ahead. And now what I'm doing is I'm, it's currently 25th of June today. So I'm treating it like, you know, this is all filled out as of today. And we're about to close out in another week. But I want to get a sense of, of where the business is at. So what I've put in here is, is dummy data across the business. So I put in April, May and June, one to date. OK, so across uh, the accruals, invoices raised over a million. And you'll see the different numbers within here. Same for May, month to date in June. These two are really important, okay? So these are what you sit down with a team uh, of leaders with at the start of a process like this and you define what good looks like. So this is an objective viewpoint of what good looks like in your business with that department head, with that leader, with that commercial leader and so on. So for us, as an example, we've said, okay, well, our target is a million per month. We want to be collecting uh, 750 750k per month, gross margin is 90%, net margin is 20, debtors under 100k as an example. That obviously correlates then with the quarterly target. And then what we get to see is how we're trending based on that. Okay. So these will all be built into a function. And I would say, well, these numbers, you'll see here I have metric owner and metric source. This can obviously be these numbers are, are ones that ultimately the CEO doesn't have to pull, but it's what all of these other pictures paint. So I think it's important for the CEO, the owner of the business, whoever is involved, the owner operator, 
to come in and do these final ones and for to pull that themselves and it gives them that sense of being involved in the process as well whether it's on, done bi-weekly monthly and um, even yeah weekly as well which is sometimes our suggestion depending on the stage of the business so as you come in here this is the job of the the owner op owner operator the ceo the md to come in and first for their section to make that determination okay so what we have here is a traffic light system really really simple so again we haven't closed out this quarter at the moment as i said we have a let's say a week left in june so you want to start making a determination so i'm going to put in light green in here okay let's say the target's three million maybe i'm hopeful we're going to close a lot before the month's out this again will change in a few days time cash collected again you want to make a determination you want to this actually needs to just update i'm just going to move this down here oh <laughs> i'll change that again for that needs to be updated but again make it relevant to yourself and yet, in essence, you want to go through and you want to make this determination. Okay, so we said anything over 90% will be good. So we're going to put that as a green. We're slightly under net margins here. So again, you can put that as a yellow or as a green. Same here with debtors. Okay, one that I like to do as another breakdown. So this is maybe where your CFO can get involved and they'll be pulling this again from the accounting system. And there might, might be more numbers in here. Maybe some of these numbers come down here is to get a breakout of how you would split your revenue. Okay, so at different stages in business, you might split it by international market, you might split it by split it by product or service line, or you may choose something else. But getting that determination, because generally a lot of the B2B legacy businesses we work with, they do have an ideal classification and they do have basically what they would like it to be. So let's just say it was an even split that was the target. You're now judging where is the revenue coming from across that on a monthly basis okay um, and again you're given that determination another one that we love to do is to report on brand so organic activity across some of the key levers that could be anything from events pr's organic social and um, you know other references that you might do maybe white papers or you know speaking slots speaking events stuff that's a way for you to determine brand progress which is ultimately sometimes a little bit difficult to do it's it's less so the hard metrics of stuff within GA4. I normally will put that within maybe some of the paid side of things. But again, make this determination based on your own business. This is for you. So make it work for yourself. For us, what we put in here and what we said for clients is you know LinkedIn posts and impressions as an example across the company, PR mentions, new subscribers if you're pushing that. And ultimately, if you have your tracking set up correctly, your leads generated by brand, which is a really easy thing to set up and do across different UTM parameters. You'll want to view on customer success or clients or some determination on the actual, you know, deliver delivery side of your business. So this again ties in with operations down here, but you might get your account director um, or an equivalent role to do this. Stuff as well, which is more focused on the growth of the business. So for me, as opposed to getting every nook and cranny, you know, as the owner within a business, you want to get, okay, this the co companies are doing good jobs for it. Are we collecting testimonials? Are we getting wins? Can that result obviously in, in greater marketing materials? Are we getting referrals from our customers? So again, as an owner, you need to know obviously some of the specifics as a way to improve your own you know, delivery and service. But ultimately, if a customer is referring you to new people, it's a good, uh, it's a good sign that you're doing something right. So that at a high level is a really good one to judge churn rate. Again, all of these can be expanded out depending on your type of business. What we have here is a, a look more at the more paid and aggressive side of your marketing or the growth side of your business. So across spend levels, conversions, customer acquisition costs, this might be your chief revenue officer. If you have one or that equivalent, maybe it's a, a an agency, maybe it's a marketing exec or manager as well. Again, all depends on the makeup of your business. We could definitely group these, but for now what I've done is I've separated out BD and sales. So BD more in terms of the output that you're having so let's say total email sent positive replies you could put in here around connection requests or connections accepted or linkedin messages you could specify it by channel and again you want to get that okay as a company what's the total volume of us you know going out knocking on doors in the market and what's that response rate or positive response rate again you might work with a bd manager some equivalent of that to make that determination sales self-explanatory you need to be working with your sales director or a similar role across some of the key things that matter sales sales cycle end close one new deals loss sql so on and ultimately i've more than on operations and partnerships 
To wrap this, the key about this is that if you are in one of the key leadership positions in your business and either your name is down here or your role is down here, or ultimately if you're you know, the CEO or the owner, the MD, the roles I reference, this is a way for you to get a sense of what's happening across the functions, compare it with what your definition of good looks like and know where you can give your energy on a week to week basis. So if you've come in here, if you're doing it, let's say at the midpoint of the month and the end point of the month, you come in here, you make the determination based on the monthly target and the quarterly target. You get a sense, so this should be reported up to you. You might do this number, maybe your CFO does this as well. You're coming in here, you're making the classification based off your expectations. And off the back of that, you're determining, okay, well, where do I need to jump in here? Right, this is red, SQLs, what else is red here? Okay, conversions on the paid side of the things, debtors, gross profit margin, okay. I would say these two are related. I need to jump in on my energy now. I need to look at the funnel um, over the past month. I need to go in and see what's contributing to that. Like where's the lag, what's happening? Um, and that again allows you across a busy, busy week to divert what needs your uh, highest attention in essence, because ultimately you come in, you get pulled in the middle, middle in directions, but you might be pulled into stuff that's already performing well in your business. And that's not your role. Your role is to go in and obviously look to solve the pain points, the, the bottlenecks, the, the, the choke points that you can go in and have an impact on where you can give that you know uh, precious time and energy. So this as a simple version um, for companies that don't have it, a lot of companies will have a more advanced version of this. Amazing, we're turning this as well into an automated system ourselves for our own business and for clients. But this gives that overview of what's happening, what's going right, how are you, uh, how are you comparing against your definition of good and ultimately allows you to find and, and find a place to, to give your energy in any in any given week if you'd like this in full uh, please reach out to myself uh, connect to me on LinkedIn obviously send a message to or email me at ty, T-A-D-H-G, at csmagency.ie so would love to help cheers guys